Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for everyone who's been watching. Um, can't quite believe it. Again, we say this every month, but it is the end of the month. And in today's video, we're going to be just giving you a brief um, look back on what's been going on during the month of April. Um, yeah, slightly dry month. Managed to crack on quite well with quite a few jobs. So we'll just go quick summary, show you a few clips of what we've been doing. So that's from the cows to the potatoes, asparagus, courgettes, um, and things like that. So hope you all enjoy the video. If you do like it, please don't forget, tap the like button, hit subscribe, and if you tap the little bell, you'll be notified of all our videos we put up every Wednesday and Sunday evening. So I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you all soon. So first up, we have finally finished potato planting. So that's all of our Jersey Royals. As you can see, they're hand planting Jersey Royals here. They are all planted, all of our potatoes for export, all of our potatoes for our seed crop for the 2025 season. And we've also got done all of our organic, so we grow organic Jersey rolls, and we also grow some organic uh, early English salad varieties. And then we've also managed to get in the small area of main crop we grow. So we only grow about uh, four acres of main crop, and that just helps us to supply our local honesty boxes and we also took a tiny bit into the wholesale market. So this will just be a few clips of us showing the, um, this is what well, hand planting you just saw, and then there's a few uh, little short clip here of the uh, Medema belt planter with Pavel on the 6130R. So there will be a few clips of that. Ground conditions as you can see here did finally dry up. Um, we had a few well, um, April was better, there was a few more consistent dry days, um, but still temperatures have been lower than we expected, but it's nice to have everything finally done, and um, yeah, so we're going to see these few clips of us finishing off with a belt planter, and then we'll move on to the start of the harvesting. So April also marked the start of our harvest, so as you can see here, there's a few clips of us, um, well this is actually not us, it's actually Jersey Royal, we did some filming with them, um, this is of them lifting their first potatoes right above uh, Montauguay Castle, or Gorey Castle, in Gorey and Grooville, using the winch system, PTO driven winch, guy stands on a plough and the potatoes are lifted up out of the ground, then we've also moved on to the slightly less inclined fields. Um, as you can see here, we have very simple little belt digger. Gently lifts the potatoes up and then puts them on the floor for the guys to go and then shake the stalks and then pick up the little potato tubers. Um, we do this on the very early ones purely because they are so tender and the skins aren't, are really soft. So if we use the harvester this early on, um, we'd cause too much damage to the, to the crop and they wouldn't uh, store well and they wouldn't go into by the time I get to the supermarkets or into your into your kitchens, they wouldn't be good quality, so we lift by hand. So next up onto our asparagus, and we looked back in what was it start of yeah, end of March. Um, this was just coming through. You see now it is all emerged nicely. Um, we've been picking now properly for kind of two three weeks. Um, all looking good. 
hasn't gone off to a flying start because as again it's been you know it's been a quite a cool start to april but it's um it's all there getting picking from quite nice amounts and um yeah hopefully as uh we move into may um this year it's quite good there is plenty of moisture around um so that is definitely helping so if we do get some heat there's gonna be lots of nice um asparagus to pick here you can see this is the asparagus um and what we do is we basically keep cutting keep cutting the spears as they come up and then underneath here is um is the crown of the plant and you can see there that's the next one coming through and it'll keep coming through all the time so there's a little bud coming up that's going to go up to around about here and we'll cut it and you can see the next one there and the next one there so it just keeps popping up all the time so these ones here they're a bit too small to harvest yet but once they get to about 20 centimeters um that's when you want to be cutting them so they just keep popping through and when it starts warming up and you have temperatures of kind of 20 degrees uh or even 25 degrees in the day if there's lots of moisture as you can see there is in the soil at the moment um we need to be picking this every day and it's really important otherwise it'll grow away kind of a bit like this one here this one's just getting slightly too long now and it's actually getting the bum too woody so the bottom part of this will be quite tough to eat um, so it's really important that you cut it kind of like at this stage um so it stays nice and tender but yeah lots of moisture just got to hope for some heat and we should get kind of an explosion of asparagus <laughs> um but yeah another month to go um nearly two months actually asparagus season officially finishes on the 21st of june longest day of the year so cajette finally they're being planted you can see here these have just been planted that's what the guys are doing now they are laying out the cajettes and they use that little trowel to dig them into the ground those are the little plants there all laid out Renato, you can see with his little trout, digs a little hole and then plants them, digs another little hole and then plants them. Um, we can, sometimes we use the machine, but these, these plants here, especially the first ones we planted the other day, they were a bit too big and we, they struggled to fall through the machine in time before the next carousel comes around. So these will be planted by hand. These will hopefully be ready to pick um, in about five weeks time, all weather depending. Adam is just over there, he's unrolling the polythene um, so we can use that, that just gives them an extra bit of protection early on in the spring just because the nighttime temperature is still quite cool, it's still down about 5-6 degrees because you have to like the warm weather, they don't like cold weather and they're very sensitive to frost so we have to be very careful, we can still get a late frost um, but yeah, finger, hope, hopefully we don't, these will be covered, um, they'll start in the next hour or so and they'll finish off tomorrow and all the cadets will be covered. So on the dairy front, as you can see here, a sight we love to see. All of our, well, not all our cows, we've still only managed to get half of the cows out grazing. The other half are due to go out early next week. Grass growth is finally decent um, and growing well. And the ground is now dried out well um, and we are yeah so this group are grazing away nicely um, so yeah hopefully weather is going to be improved into may um, the cows are looking well they're enjoying being out still fairly chilly for this time of year but they are yeah things are improving it's a nice day today a bit showery the next few days but it looks like it's gonna be a nice nice weather going into may also been up to lots of different things on the cow front we've been busy making first cut so i'll show you a few clips of highlights of us making the mowing and the, the foraging process um, and yeah fodder beets being drilled which these gales will be chomping away during the winter months um, but yeah things are going all good and hopefully have a nice May and the cows will all be out grazing.
So, update on the winter cereals. We are just here selling some fertilizer. Last lot going on the wheat, 200 kilos a hectare of nitram. Um, that's just under 70 kilos of actual nitrogen. Looking really well, actually, considering the winter it's had. Really pleased with it. Um, I say this is the final, uh, final dose of fertilizer on it. Um, amazingly, we're still on fat wheel spreading. Uh, had dried up quite well. We had about 20, nearly 30 minutes of rain actually yesterday, so I didn't dare risk going on the row crops. But yeah, really pleased with it. Due to do T2 fungicide application probably this week actually. Um, and yeah, but really pleased how it's looking. Hopefully in another month it'll still be looking well, have lots of sunshine, plenty of moisture for it to reach its potential. And yeah, starting to look towards harvest, which is nice. All of this will be used, all this wheat and our barley. Um, got to film the barley, but yeah, it will all be used to feed our cows. So the grain from the wheat is gonna be combined and yeah, grain used for crimping and then we'll use all the straw um, for bedding and for young stock feed. So yeah, looking good, pleased how it's doing. Hopefully it'll go keep going, growing well in the next month. So thank you very much for watching uh, the video. Hope you all enjoyed the April update. Sure, before we know it, it'll be the end of May. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all for our next video on Wednesday.